This stuff is seriously just like liquid gold for your face. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I am going to be trying rosehip seed oil on my skin every day for seven days. So if you guys are not familiar with rosehip seed oil, it's an oil that's harvested from the seeds of rose bushes. It's packed with vitamins, minerals, and essential fatty acids for glowing, beautiful skin. So this is not sponsored at all. I feel like this sounds like an ad. It's essentially supposed to even out your skin tone. It's supposed to help with acne scars. It's also supposed to be great for like anti-aging, which obviously I'm really young, so I'm not really worried about that. But if you guys are older and you're concerned about wrinkles, this potentially could be a good oil for you. If you guys wanna see what happened to my skin over the last seven days as I tried rosehip seed oil every day, morning and night, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is my very first day using rosehip oil. It's the end of the day. I just washed my face in the shower. It definitely smells like flowers, but it more so smells like the leaf. It's weird because usually I will use jojoba oil at night, but tonight I'm switching it up and using rose hip oil. Oh, this dropper is very strange. Let me see how much I need. Apply three to four drops to your finger and gently massage onto your hair, face, neck, and body. So on the container it says to mix it with jojoba oil and vitamin E oil. I don't have vitamin E oil, but I do have jojoba oil. So I'm gonna go get my jojoba oil. So I'm just gonna do a few drops of jojoba oil, oil and have the rosehip oil be the main part of the concoction. Ooh, I know that you guys may be thinking that that's a lot, but I put a lot of oil on my skin. It definitely smells like petals. Well, sorry, not petals. It definitely smells like leaves. Ooh, I like it. Usually when I put oils on, my face is super red. My face is a little bit red right now, but it's not as red as it is when I just use the jojoba oil and tea tree oil. Ooh, I like this. This may be my new favorite thing. Hopefully it works well on my skin. So let me look in the mirror. I can't tell how this is gonna look on my skin tomorrow, but something that I do like about it is that it doesn't look too oily on my face. So this could be an oil that I could use in the morning. This is what I look like on day one. I will talk to you guys tomorrow on day two. So I really liked the rosehip oil last night. And because it's not as oily as jojoba oil or coconut oil, I wanna use it again in the morning. So I'm actually gonna try to use rosehip oil every day for seven days, both in the morning and at night. So I'm just gonna put this on my skin now. I just got out of the shower and it is the morning on day two. The only thing that I don't like about it so far is the way it smells. I don't know, it definitely smells like roses now that I think about it but it's not like a pleasant rose smell. All right, so it is now the evening on day two and I'm ready to use my rosehip oil. So today I am not gonna use jojoba oil with this. I'm just gonna use rosehip oil. I'm so happy that I decided to try this product because I'm huge into oils and this oil is perfect. So I felt like my skin looked amazing today. I wore makeup briefly this evening, but all throughout the day I wasn't wearing makeup and I felt like my skin looked so freaking good. And I definitely think it's because of the rosehip oil. Hopefully this persists throughout the week. Everything looks good and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I feel like the rosehip seed oil is helping my skin in that it is just adding more of a glowy look to it. The area that it is not doing anything for my skin is just the area of acne and acne scars, redness, hyperpigmentation, and stuff like that. This part of my face here that I have the acne scars, I'm not saying that like the scars would go down immediately right away after using the rosehip seed oil, but I'm not really noticing any differences at all. Neither with the acne, like my acne hasn't gotten better. It hasn't necessarily gotten worse. I definitely think it's better for me to use jojoba oil at night rather than rosehip seed oil. But as I said yesterday, rosehip seed oil is just a much better oil for the beginning of the day for me because it's not as oily. I also feel like if you have super oily skin, if you are just a grease ball 24 7. <laughs> what? Funny. What? He's a grease ball. <laughs> um, you still want to use oil. I think that rosehip seed oil is the oil for you. I don't know. I feel like you can just totally see here if it will focus that I am having. Oh my gosh. It's like partially hormonal, I think. But like I am having a little bit of a breakout here and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it's because I stopped using 
jojoba oil and i just can't wait to start using it again so i will see you guys tomorrow for day four i believe so yeah see you guys tomorrow hey guys so as i'm editing the video i'm realizing that i didn't update you guys on the status of the breakout on the side of my face after this clip my acne actually started to go away so i think that i like peaked with my acne when i first started to use rosehip oil and then it just completely declined i don't really address that but when i'm explaining that my skin looked a lot better it's partially because the breakout that i was having on the side of my face completely went away hey guys so it's the next day and i woke up with glowing skin yes i do have like a few pimples here everything else i think looks really good i just want to show you guys really quick how i have been using this rosehip oil as primer i feel like it's pretty self-explanatory but i used to use l'oreal infallible glow lock primer since i ran out of this i've just been using the rosehip seed oil as a primer and it works just as well if not better if you guys have skin like mine where it thrives with moisture then this may be a really good solution for you the rosehip seed oil is working so well in that way for me and i'm just like obsessed with it so i've actually found i don't know if i mentioned this to you guys but you really don't need a lot of this compared to the jojoba oil you just need like a tiny bit i just let this sit for about like a minute just to let it like soak into my skin and then i will start to put on my makeup i use bb cream this is just the dream bb pure bb cream in 120 and see the foundation goes on so smoothly or sorry the bb cream goes on so smoothly it's perfect that's crazy i'm so excited that i found rosehip seed oil this is a game changer for sure all right so my makeup is on now and i just feel like it looks really freaking good and i just feel like my skin looks airbrushed this rose seed oil a is amazing for your skin alone without makeup but b is just an amazing primer this is day four i believe and this has already made it onto like my top favorite skincare products thank you guys for watching today and if anything changes tonight i'll update you guys otherwise i will see you guys tomorrow so i just put on the rose hip seed oil on my face and i just want to update you guys on how the last 24 hours have been going in terms of my skin. Yesterday I had makeup on for like 10 or 12 hours. I was on Instagram stories at the end of the day, but my makeup still looked amazing and it was still on my face, which I was amazed by. One complaint that I do have about this so far is just that this is only one ounce. Although you don't need much, which is a good thing about this oil to put on your face, I just feel like I would want a bigger bottle. So I'm gonna look up if I can find like a bigger bottle of this with the same dropper and I'll link that down below for you guys as well. If my skin continues to look good, if there's no crazy updates, I may just update you guys on the very last day on day seven. So with that being said, I will see you guys on day seven. Hey guys, so, okay. I know that I said I wasn't going to update you guys again today on my skin, but I am getting so many compliments on Instagram. My skin looks really freaking good. And again, I put makeup on like eight hours ago and it is still on my face and it looks so good. That freaking rosehip seed oil, 10 out of 10. Hey guys, so this is the very last day of using rosehip seed oil on my face. Oops, actually, I'm gonna keep using this after this video. I'm just not gonna be using it twice a day. I'm just gonna be using it in the morning, but I just washed my face and I really need to moisturize. This stuff is seriously just like liquid gold for your face. It is one of my favorite face products that I've used ever, for sure. So my overall thoughts on rosehip seed oil. Number one, it works great as a primer for your makeup. It makes you look dewy. It makes you look fresh and glowy. It doesn't dry out your skin at all. So if you guys like that type of look, this works amazingly as a primer. Number two, I think it works much better as a morning, mo morning moisturizer than a PM moisturizer. That is, if you guys have a skin type like mine where you like moisturizing products, but you don't like them to make your skin look too moisturized or too oily if you're about to go out somewhere, even if you're not gonna wear makeup, I feel like it just just preps your skin to look amazing and it's great I mean it's perfect if you're not gonna wear makeup because it just makes you look glowy and dewy and makes it look like you're wearing a highlighter when you're not the only thing is that it doesn't have SPF in it that's fine with me I will just deal with that by just putting regular SPF on my face if I am going to go out before wearing this another pro to this is that it is natural the only ingredient is 
organic rosehip seed oil. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Yes, in some rosehip seed oil gets two thumbs up from me. If you guys want to check this out, I will link it down below. I just got the one from Amazon. And again, as I said earlier in the video, if I can find rosehip seed oil that comes in a bigger container, I will link that down below for you guys as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time.